Sir, I have a small doubt with regard to section 10.4d, the proviso which says the controller may amend the abstract. The question is when the amendment is to be carried out. Is it prior to initial publication or subsequent to examination or he may direct the applicant to do it? What are the possible views? May I request you to spare your views? If you look at the scheme of the act, you will see that section 10.4 comes as a requirement for filing a patent application. So what are the things that the patent application should need or should contain before you file an application? So the ambit of section 10.4, 10.5 are all internal requirements a patent application has to satisfy. Now at what point does the controller ask for an amendment of the abstract? We can understand that as being done before the first publication, where the application is published. Because when the application is published, abstract is a part that is published. Uh, the other details like claims are not published. Uh, you will find that it's the abstract and the bibliographical details that are published. So we understand that the amendment that could come by the intervention of the controller could be done before the initial publication. The second publication, in the life of a patent is when the patent gets granted. Okay, that's a second publication. There could be other publications as well based on post grant amendments. So we can understand this because this is a requirement on a prerequisite before you file an application because 10.4, 10.5, they all talk about what are the things that need to be contained in a specification before it is filed we can understand that the amendment has to be carried before, as you rightly put in your first question, it should be done prior to the initial publication. It can't be subsequent to the examination because uh, subsequent to the examination, what is published is the grant. And by the time I would say that, uh, you know, the role of an abstract is to give an indication of what is going to come. So the abstract is a smaller version of the pattern and you won't get the full implication unless you read the claim. So I would understand that because the first publication is abstract centric, uh, there's no claim, there's no description, nothing. Some drawings are sometimes published because the first publication is abstract centric. I think the patent controller has to intervene before the first publication or the initial publication. Uh, can he do it on his own or direct the applicant? If we take the line that it has to be done before the initial publication, then it has to be done by the controller himself because there's no work for the applicant. The applicant starts giving his response only after the FER. Hope that answers your queries.